It's hotter than a stolen Hellcat in Memphis, man. Why did I decide to make a video today? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JB Shoots, back with another one. Um, as you can tell by that title and thumbnail, we are comparing reload times between the AR and the AK platform. I did forget one crucial element to this project, and that is a shot timer. That's on me. So we will be going off of visual and feel. Um, I do have a feel that the AR is going to be faster. There's less movement in the reload itself. But how much faster is it? Is it that much more practical? Probably. But um, is it still viable to run an AK for your combat, home defense, you know, weapon? I think so, as long as you're practicing, and I don't have a whole lot of time under the AK, but uh, the dry fire practice that I have been doing, I've seen to kind of catch on pretty quickly to it. Uh, really wish I had my shot timer with me. Maybe I can try to edit some times in to kind of get a close comparison between the two. <clears throat> but uh, that's what we're doing today. Also testing out some uh, 762, um, some steel case. Uh, the Saber Black tip, tip from PSA and uh, some Wolf Poly Performance and some Wolf Performance. There's two different variants of the Wolf MO and we're just going to have a little fun blasting AK, man. Blasting the AK today in the SIG and um, yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you like or dislike. That's cool, too. And make sure you drop a comment. Tell me what you think, man. What are y'all uh, more um, biased towards? The AR platform or the AK platform, man? I really, really like both. Um, new to the AK, but um, maybe if I had more rounds through it, I would lean towards the AK. But uh, I have thousands of rounds through AR platform. So definitely... Uh, AR guy still, but I love my AK, man. But yeah, man, see y'all when we get to the range, and we're gonna get this on the way. All right, so we made it to the range, got the paper target set up, about to get this thing going. But I wanted to show you these rounds that I'm testing out here. This one here is the PSA AAC Saber Black Tip. As you can see, steel case, nice lubricity on the case in there and this is the wolf poly performance nothing fancy going on with the tip there just a regular fmj still a good looking round but the best one out of the bunch my personal opinion is this wolf performance mo hollow point um i'm pretty sure this is pretty rare or well, not rare but hard to get in 2024 with everything going on um, but man, that's a good looking cartridge right there Made in Russia um, I'm gonna be testing 20 rounds of this And I got a nice little stockpile of it at home Got this and the poly performance at a gun show this past weekend So came across these and had to scoop them up But um, I have about 200 rounds of the black tip I'm gonna shoot 60 today And um, just to make sure everything cycles through um this ak finna get super hot like i said in the intro it's already hot out, out hot outside um so i got me a pair of gloves to hang on to that thing with um but yeah man i'm gonna load everything up we're gonna do a bunch of one-to-ones because i don't have that much 556 five, on me um i've been stockpiling my 762 but uh got 30 rounds of the 556 five, and so we're gonna be running a bunch of one-to-ones and um but to get everything going i am going to test the poly performance first just to make sure it cycles through and yeah man let me get the camera set up we're gonna get going so got 10 rounds of poly performance loaded up um got a few things i added to the zpap got some magpul qd points for my sling there um, so yeah, man, um, it's hot outside. I don't know how much footage. I hope I get all my footage, but I don't know how much, um, I'll get with it. 
being so hot, the iPhone like to overheat. And we also got this loud night break on there. We're gonna test that out as well. First rounds through it. So chamber it up. I'm gonna put all these, uh, try to put them all in the head. up let's go look at this target man recoil felt pretty good nice tight group in the head box or the head circle i'm happy with that all right so let's load up for one to ones i'm gonna cut the camera off to let it cool down while we do that and then we'll be right back <laughs> gotta try to get this in before my phone overheats but first round of the one on ones we're gonna run the saber black tips through it um I'll probably tell you right now this sling is probably going to get in my way so we might have to try to figure something else out but that's why we're here testing things but we're just going to start from low ready and hopefully i have some way to keep up with it that felt pretty good let's run it with the ar I call it an AR, but it's my MCX. AR platform. Um, just one round in the in the mag. Um, no fling on this one. It wasn't getting away anyway. But uh, let's see. Ooh, we gotta turn the EL tech on. Turn it up. All right, that's fine. All right, here we go. That is not how I reload my AR. That was all habit from the AK. So we're gonna try it again. Forgot my manual of arms that quickly, but uh, let's do it one more time. Now, I'm not that great either one, but uh, that felt like less work. So we're gonna do one more one-to-one, -one, then I'm gonna load up some doubles, because why not? Man, that feels good. That feels really good. Let's load up some double taps. I know there's multiple ways to load or reload an AK. You can kick the mag out with the mag, or you could kick it with your thumb, come this way, come that way. And there's only really two ways to reload an AR. Um, so which one is more efficient for the AK platform? I'm still figuring that out, which one's more efficient for me. Um, but for right now, we got some double, uh, two rounds in each magazine loaded up. We're going to shoot some double taps, see what the recoil management's like. Uh, let's start from that experience I would say the cool guy reload with the magazine um, might be hit or miss so it might be best to come flick it out with your thumb so you can make sure you're hitting that paddle release so let's try it with the AR all right so I got my tool loaded up I'm gonna start from high ready try to get it smooth Lose my ear protection. So usually with my AR, I keep it out, reload that way instead of breaking to my elbow. Um, I do this with the AK so I can see it rock in easier. So switching back and forth is kind of messing me up. It's not giving a, giving a fair comparison. So let's try to run it one more time. So let's remember how to reload the AR platform, JB. Um, how you Give it one more rip with the 
AK. We gotta figure out some better ear protection because I'm, I'm gonna lose this right eardrum. Every time I shoot, it slides back. I need some earbuds. All right. All right. I swear, it's more fun doing this one. If you can get good at reloading AKs, man, it's like plus 10 cool factor. This rail hadn't gotten, it's a little warm. I can hold that with my hand. Not warm enough for the glove yet, but um, I'm gonna keep it on anyway. We are clear and empty. This thing is extremely loud. And it still has play because it's held in by that detent. Um, doesn't seem to be striking on the way out, but I would prefer that to be a tighter lockup and not as loud. Tactically, that's not uh, an advantage. Kind of giving away your position, but the action of the gun is pretty loud itself as well. So, but still loving it and definitely want to get better with it. All right, so we're gonna switch it up for a sec. Got to get some build drills in, and why not do it with the Wolf Performance? I got 20 rounds of this stuff, um, so I want to use it doing some fun stuff. Got a fresh target up. I'll show y'all what that looks like at the end, but we're gonna get as many as we can. So we ought to be able to get three, four build drills in. Let's see if we can get them all in. Damage. Man, that ammo smells better. But uh, let's see, we got three outside the zero circle, and those were the last two that I hit there. But yeah, man, that wolf performance um feels pretty good, man. This AK feels good. Uh, if I get better at these reloads, we might have ourselves something now. Um, I'm gonna try to spice it up a little bit, maybe do some movement. Um, it reloads as well. Um, so hold on one sec. <laughs> the rail is definitely heating up now. I tried to come up with something, man, but I just wanted to shoot this thing. Feels good, though. Check out the target, too. We ain't just spraying them everywhere for those to say AKs. You know, that's combat effective right there. <laughs> you bleeding out the gut right there, dog. Uh, so let me think of something real quick, man. Um, try not to make this video too boring. Just standing in one place doing one-on-ones. One-on-ones, whatever. Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at it. Uh-huh. Couldn't think of nothing. It's hot outside. I'm trying to make sure I get all my footage. So I'm trying to be quick. Um, really didn't plan any drills to come out here. But I got three in this mag, three in the other one. We're just going to do a split field drill, whatever you want to call it. And um, continue to see which one's best. Last four rounds I got for the AR or the MCX. AR platform. The lower is the AR. But uh let's get it, dude. Alright. Now the rest of the way, we blast the 762. For any of those that is curious, this is the box, the packaging, the black tips come in. Um, I probably could have saved a few extra dollars by cheapening this part up, 
but the round itself from my non-scientific testing looks like it's going to be a pretty good one uh, so that's all we got left to shoot we got 40 rounds another box so i'm gonna load those up and um probably try to group them see how tight we can get them all right so i believe the range owner told me this is about a 50 yard bay we got our paper cardboard target set up down range um, don't have a uh, any kind of vice or anything so it's just gonna be a rough rough thing let's see we got our chamber round in the chamber all right let's send let's send three Go check it out all right so we got two touching cover that up with a finger and i guess i pulled one to the left there um i was aiming here so obviously our zero is way the fuck off but yeah let's try to correct the zero a little bit come up and to the right a little bit and see if we can put at least five right here All right, I lied. I'm not gonna change the zero. Um, I'm just gonna turn the dot down. Try to be more, you know what I'm talking about. Let's turn the dot down. I'm gonna try to aim right in the shoulder. first one but let's go check it out so definitely pulled one and dropped one so these are tightest three i was aiming in here so i guess we could adjust our windage over to the right some but um that's about a two inch you kind of these three about a two inch group i knew i pulled that one bad to the left um but yeah that was the first shot don't know which one that was but definitely not as good as that one. But uh, let's adjust the windage to the right some and maybe bump it up a bit and try to send some more. So I adjusted the windage about three MOA to the right and elevation about two up. So we're gonna try to put these in the head circle. But for no, just a bench rest monopod not bad. Go check that one out. All right, so looks like our zero, looks like I did made the right adjustments. Just me as a shooter, wasn't able to replicate that. But um, hand size group <laughs> at 50 yards out of that Sabre black tip, um, 10 inch barrel. If I was in a better position, not trying to make excuses, but um, just trying to account for the ammo like the ammo itself is doing pretty good um so i believe i have 26 more rounds so we can at least get some more build drill build drill time we're gonna work in a reload because clearly i need help or work with that we're about 10 yards so let's get them all on paper got a fresh target up so you'll be able to see the hits Up. 
but I'm gonna let you see the hits. I think we got them all on paper. I count three, so they're not where they're supposed to be though. So let's load up again. We're gonna run that one more time. This gonna be the one. Got my dot turned up. Okay. Felt like I ejected a case and I reloaded. I don't know. But let's see. Where we okay, so we definitely hit more in the A zone. Um. I think it's these four here, maybe this one and that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> Shot all six. That reload felt a lot better. Reminded me a lot more of the dry fire I did for it. Um, you know, you get out here live ammo in front of the camera, you get a little, get a little nervous. So I'm gonna load up six and one, six and another. And we're gonna do a double build drill. Okay, so I did eject around after one after that first reload. Uh, when I came back and saw my box had seven missing, I was like, "Hold on, something ain't right." Uh, so all I did was load it four in that first mag. I thought I was out, and I wasn't. But um, we're gonna make sure we load up six each. We're gonna do a double build drill. Work on these reloads, cause that's what's that's where I'm lacking right now. Reloads and recoil management. Boom. So last drill of the day. I will say this rail, bare skin, it's piping hot. This glove, can't even feel it. This is the mechanic, uh, whatever. Got it at my local store. Got nice little knuckle pads on it, so. If you're looking for a good glove to mitigate heat on the AK, these might be the option for you. So six in this mag, six in the other one, and we're gonna do a double build drill. Hopefully we can get them all in the circle, the middle circle. Go check the hits i see some that group there looks new all that looks new probably dropped a few but in general shooting fast with the ak we're all in a uh, middle section there so that's pretty decent of course in the there starting to get a little better with the reloads i have two rounds left so i could do one more one to one but um i don't know what should i do with them i'm just gonna shoot them out i'm gonna close out this video hopefully i got all my footage if not you know why it's hot as balls and my camera died oh I loosened up this safety probably a little bit too much. Get that. Um, so I can probably stand to bend it back in. But it's not really impeding any function other than press checking, I guess, with the safety on. I'll run into that. But um, definitely, I don't have to have the whole karate chop grip. I can sweep it with my index so i like it loose it doesn't doesn't shake loose or anything so it's still safe safe it's still safe and um does what it's supposed to do so uh probably leave it like that uh, but i will say i did notice my bolt hold open doesn't work anymore but 
that just is what it is. Just don't want to work. <laughs> it's all good though. Still love this thing. I might tighten the safety back up, might not. Might switch to a different one. Um, but yes, sir, that's the ZPAP 92. SIG MCX. My phone is about to shit the bed, so we're gonna close this video out. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you like, share, drop a comment, subscribe, all that. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all picking, which one do you think perform better? Obviously the AR. But I love this one and I would love to get really good, you know, with the AK. Love to. Just looks good. All right, so tell me what y'all think. Drop a like, drop a comment. See y'all in the next one. Peace.